Hello everyone, welcome to my first vlog, eating in a week. This week I'm gonna be super duper busy with cat sitting during the day and I'll also have to teach in the evening, but I will still try to eat somewhat healthy, nutritious food. Today I was feeling like eating some rice and I also have some fresh squid that my mom gave me so I made stir-fried squid with white onions and cabbage. The ink from the squid started oozing out when I was stir-frying, so it doesn't look very appetizing, but it still tastes very good. I love it. For lunch, I was craving for omelets, but I also was craving for tomato juice, so I made white rice with Asian kind of omelet with tomato juice on the side. I know it's only Monday but I was so tired in the evening I did not want to cook anything and it was raining so I bought myself some pho noodles, my favorite place. It was so yummy. Today's breakfast is broken rice with pork chops and lunch is sticky rice with all kinds of toppings. In the evening, I spontaneously marinated the beef for tomorrow's meals. Oh, by the way, this is my most favorite marinating mixture for beef. It's salt, pepper, garlic, and oyster sauce, and of course, sesame oil. So this is kind of like my before dinner snack. This was so good. And then for dinner, I had a Korean instant noodle with the leftover squid that I had the other morning. We're finally coming through our midweek. Today I was feeling like having a smoothie, so I put together some milk, frozen banana, cocoa powder, a little bit of oats, and some chocolate hazelnut butter. The texture was so smooth, so creamy, and so delicious. Slightly sweetened because we added banana and a little bit of the hazelnut butter. This is Duchess. She is the cat that I'm cat sitting right now. She is so adorable and so cuddly. By the way, I managed to buy myself some groceries from the local supermarket. And I also bought a lot of oranges on the street. This was so, so cheap. So I bought like a lot. Not that a lot, but anyways, I'm going to make myself some orange juice with some honey. It's good for my throat. So today for lunch, we're going to be eating some beef stir-fried pasta. Vietnamese ways, of course. So put together the beef that we already marinated yesterday. Added some white onions to stir-fry and some cooked pasta. Season with just a little bit of soy sauce. 
and of course we need our fiber so I had some salad on the side which is lettuce and tomatoes I am obsessed with the Vietnamese sweet chili spicy sauce I have to eat it with everything for our before dinner snack again we're gonna have this uh, lettuce wrap this was so yummy and so cheap I'm so addicted to it I think I'm gonna have this every day for the rest of the week for today's breakfast I had some Vietnamese sandwich and my cat was having her morning snack this is a catnip wooden stick she loves it I had lunch day at my mom's, we had a gathering and she gave me really yummy papaya so I was having this as a snack For today's dinner, I have leftover chicken porridge that I brought from the gathering of my mom's house at lunch This was so yummy and just perfect for a rainy evening Good morning again, let's have some morning vitamin C from the oranges that we bought earlier Along with some honey of course because my throat really needs it The stir-fried beef pasta that I made earlier actually wasn't very tasty as I expected so I added some freshly cut basil along with a little bit of butter and some ketchup sauce and it turns out so delicious. I am in love with this. And of course, as I already told you, I have to eat this again. I bought some chicken breast that I'm gonna rinse and then I will boil some for myself. I will add them in my salad and I will also share some for my cat. I am obsessed with this drink. This is in the orange flavor and the drink is called Nutri Boost. Sometimes I eat a lot of yogurt and buying them in bulk is so expensive so I make myself at home using the laziest technique ever. I add about 100 millimeters of store-bought yogurt into the milk container and mix everything up. And then I add them into glad jars. I cannot even afford a yogurt maker, so I use the cooler to make yogurt. I added some regular room temperature tap water along with some boiling hot water. 
It was actually a little bit too hot, so I had to pour some of the hot water out and put more, uh, you know, cold water into it. I feel like I needed some more fiber in my diet, so I made just a simple spinach soup with silken tofu and egg drops. I bought this in a convenience store and now I'm gonna heat it up in my pen. It doesn't taste as good as I expected so I don't think I'm gonna purchase this again. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!